Hello everyone. Let me begin by asking you some simple questions about day-to-day -day life. I'm sure you all would agree that pandemic has changed the way in which all of us are behaving as a consumer. Let us take an example. All of us have shifted to value-based shopping of essentials due to this pandemic. There is a drastic shift in purchasing goods online. Be it a local Kiranawala store or a topmost brand of the country, everybody is selling their products online now. The consumers are purchasing more products related to health and hygiene and there is a clear-cut no to luxury buying. People have actually indulged into mindful shopping. So what does all this indicate? For the brands and for the entrepreneurs, there were important lessons to be learned out of this changed consumer behavior. For example, Chick and Dabur immediately adapted to this changing environment and they introduced a range of hand sanitizers. Similarly, food delivery portals like Zomato and Swiggy, they also launched touch-free delivery concept to ensure that the brand remains relevant even during the time of pandemic. When stay at home and work from home became a new normal, brand like Ancient Paints created a beautiful campaign on stay at home which helped the brand to enhance its brand equity. So, the question is, what are these brands trying to communicate? Most of these brands are trying to offer an experience to the customer which will help them to establish a strong long-term relationship with the brand. So that takes us to a very, very important aspect of marketing. Now, what is marketing? Marketing is basically a process where a brand or a marketeer tries to create communicate and deliver value to the customers in such a way that it creates a win-win situation for the consumer and the marketeer. So what is this win-win situation? The marketeer is able to make profit, enter into a long-term profitable relationship with the customer and as in return, a customer is able to satisfy his needs and wants by consuming the products and services offered by the brand. So let us understand that you know the two basic aspects of marketing talks about identifying your target customer well and offering and value to them which will address their pain points. It is very important for all of us to understand that the starting step of marketing is KYC. Now what is KYC? KYC is nothing but know your customer. See, you cannot have a common solution to, for all the needs of the consumers or for all the consumer segments. You have to use different strokes for different folks. So when I say know your customer, we are trying to understand the demographic profile of the customer in terms of his or her age, gender, income, occupation. At the same time, we are also trying to understand his attitude, his likes and dislikes, his buying pattern, his cultural and religious beliefs. All these things play a very important role for marketeer to understand and design products and services in such a way that they completely are compatible with the needs and requirements of the buyer. For example, a Harvard business study claimed that 85% of the new businesses failed because of wrong market segmentation. Let us take an example. You must have heard about a brand Volkswagen Polo. Right, so when I ask you what does Volkswagen Polo brings to your mind, you would say it is robust, it is affordable and it is hatchback. But friends, do you all know that you know Volkswagen also sells Audi and Lamborghini, but these brands represent elegance, royalty, class and they are purchased for conspicuous consumption where a customer is interested to display his wealth and his purchase of buying a car is not just to satisfy a need of transportation. So this is what I want all of you to understand that you know to identify your target market properly, understand them, do a homework on KYC and that will be a very very important point in your marketing journey. Now let us try to understand the concept of value with the help of customer pain points. Now what do you understand by customer pain points? It means that a customer is facing any issue in the existing product or service that he or she is using 
he or she is not very satisfied with the substitutes that are available in the market and at times it may also happen that he is not even aware that he has this type of a need for the product or a service so as a marketer or as an entrepreneur how do you ensure that you address the customer pain points in such a way that a customer not only feels satisfied but he also feels delighted now friends this also takes us to an another interesting concept in marketing which is known as customer delight see in today's era of competition remember that you know every brand is offering the performance which is as per customers expectation or at least they try to do so but the brands which offer a superior performance as compared to customers expectation are the ones which end up creating customer delight so ask yourself that you know as an entrepreneur as a brand as a product are you creating some elements of surprise do your product offer that wow experience to the customer during the purchase and consumption if yes your brand is on the path of creating a long term relationship with your customers have you all seen the recent commercial of samsung refrigerator samsung has come up with a very innovative feature in its refrigerator by the name of samsung curd maestro now you all would think that you know setting up a curd at home is such a simple process but still samsung decided to come out with this revolutionary feature which nobody has ever thought of before so what was the led logic behind this and what was the pain point that samsung wanted to address through this innovative feature it has been observed that you know curd has been a part of indian cuisine from a very long time but most of the time what happens is that you know we either forget to set the curd at home and at times the taste and consistency is also an issue so to address this problem samsung introduced this feature in which you just have to put the milk and a spoon of curd into that box and just keep it inside the refrigerator and your curd is ready tasty with good consistency that you want every time so that is what i mean when i say addressing the customer pain points bolt is one of the top 10 innovative startups in 2019 Bolt has come out with again a very very revolutionary product the company uh, the startup has introduced a charger for motor bikes now you must have observed that you know there are facilities of charging your mobile phones when you are riding a car but what for those people who are you know riding a motor bike so they have come out with a device which will help you to charge your mobile while you are riding your bike and at the same time At the same time Bolt has also introduced a Bolt Riders app which helps you to track your entire journey like you know what is the mileage how many kilometers which route and all those things and another important aspect that they have taken care of is that they have a detachable design so you can remove the device from the motorbike whenever you want and this helps the consumers to protect the device from theft and any type of misuse so friends this is what i mean when i say addressing customer pain points so marketing is not just about flashy advertisements or coming out with social media campaigns marketing is all about understanding the customers problems coming out with the solutions which will solve those problems and at the same time make the customer so happy delighted and satisfied that it will not only spread a positive word of mouth but at the same time the customer would feel hooked with the brand and stay with you being a loyal customer for times to come so friends to conclude this talk i would like to say that for any brand for any startup for any entrepreneur it is very important that you understand what your customer wants always try to exceed the customer's expectations as it is rightly said in one of the famous quotes that you know the gap between the expectation and performance is where the magic happens both in business and your life please use this inputs of marketing essentials into your business and kick start your marketing journey thank you so much and i wish you all the very best